Hi guys, Andy here. I thought I'd show you a um, a new launcher that is, well, a new launcher to me, sorry, it's actually quite old, I believe. Um, Smart Launcher 3, this is the pro version because it's down to just 10 pence in the Play Store. So I think, I mean, it's, it's generally it's quite a basic launcher, but I think that's sort of its appeal at the same time. For me, it's a bit of a negative, but... Um, some people will probably prefer it that way. So really, I think the even the non-pro version, all you get is this one screen, and it's built around the, the bubbles that we have here. Uh, the idea being if I tap the camera bubble, up comes the camera straight away. Obviously, it's not going to see much laying flat down. If I double tap, it does something different, though. It opens up, for me, the Photos app. Um, like the phone, if I double tap, I can have it bring up Contacts. Uh, single tap will bring up the music, double tap brings up my podcast player, for example. So there's the double tap. There's the single tap. So I can't like that. I like its simplicity. Um, you can add you can add bubbles, we can change the theme. So let's add a bubble because I want, for example, I want my weather. So keep going. There we go. Weather timeline. Now again I can edit that bubble. I can add an action for a double tap, so maybe the double tap might open up um, the BBC weather app. Um, I can, in theory, I can change the icon. I'm using Jarvis theme. Unfortunately, there's not really a suitable weather-looking uh, icon. Um, hence why it's staying as it is. So now if I tap it once, opens with the one app, tap it twice, opens up the other app. So I like that, I like, I like its simplicity. The weird thing for me though, if I want to browse to my other screens which got the widgets on, if I just do a regular slide, nothing happens. You have to drag right the way from off the edge or use this button in the corner. And I'm not quite sure why it would be like, why you wouldn't just do a regular slide. Um, then these other screens, you can add as many as you want. You can add widgets. There's the widget selector. You know, very, very simple in that respect. But again, to get back, you have to make a very defined swipe from the edge. Um, it's worth pointing out at this point that it, Works in landscape. I quite like that. That's kind of handy for some people. Not for me. I don't think I don't generally use my phone sideways, but for some people that might be uh, that might be important. Um, if we go to the app drawer in the corner here, they've categorised and use these same categories all the way through. So what do we have? Communication, internet, games, media, utility. And settings. Now, actually, I found that I, I'm, again, I wasn't a big fan of that. I think it's done all automatically, so it knows what different apps are. But I was trying to find, or I was looking for my my weather map, and I suppose it's relatively obvious that it would be in it would be in internet because um, it wouldn't be. A, it's not a communication. It could be a utility, but it's not there. Um, I don't know you maybe you like that maybe maybe not so much the, the search is pretty good well actually i say pretty good it's only it only does the first letter so if i so for example that's a weather timeline if i was thinking oh i know it's, it's called timeline or something i press t it doesn't appear i should be able to i thought i'd be able to start typing a bit more like actually to be fair to the launch of this but it's quite good if i start typing in mind you again it's not searching so it's not come up with timeline it's just come up with the things that start time well, race times come up though so i guess there you go weather timeline or you might see that has uh, contacts in it as well or if you want to search the web you, you go ahead and tap tap the bottom one whoops so that's that's quite nice i should quite like that search box now one weird thing and this is this will be probably be my fault because i'm on uh, android m the developer uh issue uh preview i can't see any preferences so i have to sort of tap a letter in the search and then loads of them all start appearing so and i must say that is that'll be me being well i assume it'll be me being on android m it's just not ready for android m just yet um the other thing i should show let's come back to the is themes 
So at the moment, I've only got a few of them installed. This is the default, let's come to the default. You can change what bits of it you apply. Look, set. There we are, that's the default one. Everything changed, all the icons along the sides, the icons of the apps, if they're if they're set. Let's go to the other one I've got, MUI. I quite like that. It's, it's very, you know, it's very simple and quick and easy to to change the whole theme. You see how it's all all totally changed. So so that's quite nice. Um, but all around. I can't lie, I'm not a massive fan. It looks quite nice, it, and it is simple, and that's going to be good for some people. Oh, I should point out these do, and you can change in the settings if you find these do link into different. If I tap the date there, the calendar's going to open. That those link into certain things as well. So I do actually I quite like it for its simplicity, and it's um, it's quite neat. It's reasonably minimalistic, which again actually is all me. Um, I just miss certain things, and I find I mean, this 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 bit that annoys me the most why you can't just sort of swipe um, and that might be to do with gestures but even then no I don't know because there are gestures I, again I can't seem to find them because I can't get to the preferences properly but you can do like two finger swipe this thing you then it'll launch different apps for you so you can uh, quickly get to a variety of your favorite apps so there we go it's 10p at the moment or when I bought it a couple of days ago smart launcher 3 pro on the play store my name's Andy I'll catch you all again soon